Tom does not know what our plans are tonight because he never gets to plan anything. So we're gonna tell them. We're, we're gonna tell him. Actually, I'm gonna have Kara tell him. I mean, I'll tell her, and then she can tell him. He'll be very excited. You just stand there and don't move. We'll be back to you later. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I told them already. See, they find out before you get to find out. <laughs> Guys, the time just gets away from you when you're sitting down and you're having a nice conversation with friends. Like it's already 4.30 or something. I have no idea. Yeah, no, 4, four forty-five or something like that. We've been sitting with them for a while just enjoying each other's company and the time's like totally getting away from us. So they are getting ready to go to celebration to see the official lighting of the Christmas tree there. So actually their vlog is gonna be up before this vlog. So you have to go check that out. Um, and we are headed back to the resort and pick up the kids. And they don't know about Chippendale's campfire um, sing-along. They have asked about when are we going to use the chocolate and the graham crackers. I mean, they know we're going to do s'mores somewhere, but they have no idea where. So we brought our own little sticks from home and all the goodies, and we can roast our marshmallows in the fire while we get to sing along with Chip and Dale. They've been asking where they're going today. What's in that bag, like um, marshmallows. marshmallows, and what else? Chocolate. Chocolate. What else? Mm. Graham crackers. So what does that mean? Mm -hmm. S'mores. S'mores. So obviously we're going to roast some s'mores. I got food in my mouth. <laughs> Did I say it funny, Skylin? Mm -hmm. We're going. Somewhere none of us have ever been. Not even me. We're going to Fort Wilderness Lodge to Chippendale's Campfire Sing Along. And we're going to roast marshmallows and sing along with Chippendale and some other guy that hosts the show. Is it an actual fire? Yes. And I shouldn't take a shower. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to take a shower because you're going to come back smell like smoke. And I think they play a movie afterwards. Not positive, but I think so. Y'all look thrilled. Is that a reservation thing? No, it's not. Just You just show up. I don't know what it is. I just told you what it was. As you can see, these two have been napping because they were swimming earlier. Look, they have mini Suburbans now. Well, this is our first time ever pulling into Fort Wilderness Resort. As you can see guys, I'm at Hollywood Studios by myself. So unfortunately because of the time of year and that it's peak season, Wilder Fort Wilderness would not let us in to go to Mickey's campfire sing-along, which was really a bummer. We were all really disappointed, so we're like, fine. We'll ride over to Disney Springs and we'll catch a bus to Fort Wilderness. So that was the plan and then we got to a light that would turn towards Disney Springs and the traffic back up to Disney Springs had to be at least a mile and I am not kidding. This is a Saturday night after Thanksgiving so I guess Disney Springs was really packed so we decided well I guess we are not going to Fort Wilderness. We'll just go back to Bonnet Creek. We knew that they had like little fire pits and we're like, we'll just roast our marshmallows there because we brought all of our supplies and get there and go out there. And there's a big sign that says, don't cook food in the fire pits. And I was like, really? So they decided that they wanted to swim. And I said, well, 
there is some Christmas shopping that I need to do and we are closest to Hollywood Studios and I know that at least two of those items are at Hollywood Studios so I decided you know what let me go check on the alien buckets because I really want one my friend Melissa really wants one of the alien buckets and when we, we were at Hollywood Studios a couple days ago they didn't have them so I'm gonna go in and hope that they do so we've got an awesome Halloween nightmare before Christmas and now we have an awesome Christmas nightmare before Christmas go get it oh my goodness I know some people out there that would be crazy over these socks launching slinky dog dash attraction vehicle with spinning flames I didn't think kids should play with fire guys I want to show you why you have to control your kids like you have to pay attention to where their hands are at all times okay this is why well actually I'm not gonna show you the kids face okay so look on the floor and you'll see several um, breakables the child took their hand and just wiped across and broke like five of them There's a reason that I showed you um, me coming out of the bathroom, basically. Tom's always laughing at me because I always have interesting bathroom stories to tell him. And this one is pretty comical. Not the first part, but the result. So there was a woman in the scooter that was trying to come out, but because that trash can was there, um, and, I don't, and, and you could tell she didn't have a lot of experience with the scooter, she was having a hard time going around that corner, so she had, kept having to go back and forth, back and forth. So there was quite a few of us waiting to get in, and we just stood at the doorway and waited, hey, you know, no big deal. Um, but again, several attempts backwards and forwards. She ran into the trash can once, she's backwards forwards. So it, it was a good four minutes, uh, three to four minutes before she actually got out. And so then her family was right behind her, and there was like four of them after her, I think. And then more people came, and more people came, and more people came. And I turned around to the lady behind <laughs> behind me, and I'm like, this is unusual. And she says, yeah, when is there a line waiting to get out of the bathroom? I kid you not, people. There was probably a good 18, 20 women and you know kids that were waiting to get out of the bathroom because they couldn't get by when um, she was trying to get through. So just an unusual little story you wouldn't think to, that you wouldn't expect a line waiting to get out of the bathroom it was quite funny and none of us waiting you know to get in there was nobody being impatient or you know causing a fuss we actually thought um you know no big deal but then when the people kept coming and kept coming it was like clowns out of a bathroom i mean out of a, a car or something they just kept coming and coming and coming so at that point we were all pretty much giggling I'm bummed that's what I thought no alien popcorn bucket um, we only have two more nights and we leave I don't know that I'm gonna get to come back but I'm gonna try and this is what Skylon decided to do since we couldn't make our s'mores she's gonna make it this way and we need to make this cookie dough because we check out of here and go to a different resort that doesn't have a kitchen tomorrow so we need to use that cookie dough. So she decided she's gonna do some with cookie dough and bake it. Show us what it's like. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> okay, smells so good. Oh man, this is our last night. See the special fireworks from Epcot. 